Good morning, welcome back to my channel, welcome to this week's car boot sale haul. This haul is from the Easter Sunday car boot sale that I wasn't 100% sure would be happening. So I'm pleased it was and here it is. It was an odd one. There was an awful lot of sellers, not that many buyers. Uh, there were some new faces, there were some new traders, but there also seemed to be traders that would normally be somewhere else, by which I mean you get traders who plainly are regular boot fair, boot sale traders, but you've never seen them at yours before. And I'm wondering if perhaps Cheddar was closed because it was Easter Sunday or something like that. Because there were definitely people who plainly had a lot of well-used car boot stock, if you know what I mean. It's, you know, they were, you could see, they were regular traders and yet I'd never seen them before. The problem with regular traders is they have, most of their stock has already been very much picked over and there's very rarely any, any gems, but got a few nice bits and I think most of my nice stuff has come from my regular sellers anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, coughing and spluttering by the way. Let me show you this first because I'm intrigued to see if this has worked. This is a ladies clutch bag but it did not arrive with me like this. All around the edge here these are sewing clips that I have put on there because when I brought this home yesterday the glue was completely unglued and it was falling apart. You might ask yourself, why on earth did you buy it if it was falling apart? Because it's not a sought-after brand or anything like that. It's not that it was like, oh my goodness, that's a that's a million pound bag if I can only put it back together. It wasn't like that. It's just that it is a very, very dark blue satin clutch bag. And I know my friend Debbie needs one for her son's wedding. So I had already said to her that I would look out for something like this. So when I saw it, I picked up, I thought that's ideal. I unfolded this and all of this was unstuck. So I was like, oh dear, state of that. I don't know if that's going to work after all. But it was on Steve's store. I said, Steve, how much? And he said, give me a quid. Um, and so I thought, well, you know what? For a pound, I will take it home and I will attempt to glue it. I glued it last night with what I always call Yoohoo glue. But I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce it Yoohoo or whether you're supposed to pronounce it, pronounce it U-H-U. But I always call it Yoohoo glue, which is just an all-purpose adhesive. Glued it last night, put all of those sewing clips on it. And today... It is absolutely great. It's fine. It's stuck beautifully. It's, yep, yeah, the glue has not seeped at all. That, Debbie will be very pleased with that for a quid, I'm sure, because she'll only use it for this one occasion. She is not, definitely not a dressing up and clutch bag kind of person. That's not her comfort zone. But because it's her son's wedding, obviously, she needs to step out of her comfort zone a bit. That would be perfect for the job intended. So that was a good quid's worth. Okay. Also from Steve, I paid 15 quid for these. Now, this, it's unusual for me to pay this much for, for stuff from Steve because I normally haggle him down like a beast. But I figured this was okay for this. This is a large bundle of puppets and they are 1960s, 1970s hand puppets. So this is Goldilocks and the Three Bears, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that one's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And they're all vintage hand puppets with rubber heads. I can't get my finger in her hand. I think that's because that's, there we go. Oh, just discovered a hole in her dress, so she's going to need a stitch. But yeah, there's Goldilocks, and then you've got the three bears there. And these, these ones have been fastened together in the, presumably in the charity shop, because all Steve's stock is ex-charity shop. Goldilocks and the three bears. And then I've also got, uh, I've got the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. I've sold these before. The wolf in particular was really familiar when I saw him. So three little pigs and the big bad wolf. And then this, I believe, is well, it's plainly Red Riding Hood. There's the wolf. There's the woodcutter. Looking online, this isn't grandma. I don't know who this is. It looks a bit like, um, it's a bit like Biden. I don't know who it's meant to be, but it's not grandma. Grandma should have a purple dress and she's got a white bun or whatever. I think I'm going to sell her as, sell it as part of the set and just put, I don't think this is the original grandma. And that maybe that's, there's not a chap, is there, in Little Red Riding Hood, apart from the woodcutter. So I think this must be a puppet from another set. But I think it will do to make up the bundle as long as I state that I don't think that's the original grandma because I think it would be good enough. £15 for those. Um, comps are all over the place on rubber head puppets, but hopefully... Hopefully I should be able to treble my money, I would have thought, maybe more. I paid one pound each for these two comforters. They're only um, TJ and Moon and Stars, which I think is either Poundland or B&M. I can't remember which. 
TGM, I think it's B&M, but it might be Home Bargains. But yeah, two of those, pound each, they're brand new with their tags. They probably would have been a pound each in B&M or wherever in the first place as well when I think about it. Three pounds for this Calf Kidston bag. I've, I've bought a lot of Calf Kidston bags recently. There seems to be a lot of them cropping up. It's in pretty good nick. I think if I remember looking inside, yeah, there's a little mark on the lining which you probably won't see. Can you see that? But apart from that, it's in good nick and nobody's really that bothered about marks in the lining. There are no broken bits. The thing with um, with nylon or oil skin bags, sometimes the corners get scuffed. But this one is, is in beautiful condition. The zip works. Said she losing it. I had it in my hand. The zip works perfectly. There is... some crud along the line there which I will try and get out sometimes what works for linings that looks like face powder I think that's face somebody said a makeup spillage in there but sometimes what works for linings is sticky tape and just keep on pulling and, and you know re reapplying and, and ripping so I might give that a go three pound for that one I'm a bit leathery this morning these are I paid a pound for these from another guy who, again, I'd never seen him before, and yet he obviously had a lot of car boot stock. He was obviously not a new car booter. So somewhere must have been closed yesterday. These are posable figurines from Ardman Animations, the Shaun the Sheep movie from 2014. So I've never actually seen the Shaun the Sheep movie, but there's definitely Shaun, look. This dog, I think is called Bitsa or something like that. Or Bitsa, or I might have the name wrong. And then this is... The farmer, I assume, and I've got two two each of the farmer and the dog, and one Sean the sheep. And the posable figurines seem to have again varying, varying degrees of success. But that was a quid for the bundle, so a lot of the Ardman animation stuff is becoming very collectible. The Wallace and Gromit stuff, it's all becoming worth worth looking at. Not all of it's going to have value, but it's definitely if you if you see it, it's definitely worth checking it out. From the same guy, I bought this coat, and it's weird because it is a brand that's sold within Next, so it's a Next sub-brand and it's called Eddie's Jackets and it's just a really funky coat I thought it was really funky, it's got interesting up and down hemline affair going on he wanted a fiver, he wouldn't come down on it so I gave him a fiver in the end and I thought, oh maybe, maybe it's only but actually looking it up I can't find any of these I don't know if they're still sold through Next but when you search in Eddie's Jackets all you get is Eddie Munson from Stranger Things and stuff like that. You don't get anything like this. So that's a bit of a, that might be a, might be a non-starter. It might be a, a bit of a dud, that one. New bag. I bought a Rush Hour Think Toys, is it Think Toy? Think Fun Rush Hour game, but I think there might be a couple of the cars missing. I've sold this one before, and I think I sold it before with some cars missing. So it's one of these grid games where you put the, cards on and there's cards so I, did I not get the cards oh the cards are in the box dear oh dear I'm not doing very well today the cards are in this little pull out drawer here and so basically you pick a card and I think you you race against the clock to put the pieces on in the right order so I don't think all of the cars are there because because looking at other pictures online I think there should be enough cars to fill up the entire grid and I don't have enough of these to fill up the entire grid but I have only done a very quick look at the research, so I'll have a proper look and, and work out. And I think I sold it before without all the cars, which is maybe somebody wanted it for spares. Don't know, but it was only a pound anyway. And then I paid one pound for two of these. I think these are vintage pastry cutters, but I'm not actually sure. I haven't seen pastry cutters like this before with the little handles on top. But if you have and you know whether they're vintage or modern, do let me know if you wouldn't mind. So I've got a square one and a round one for tarts and you could make some very nice little phyllo squares with that couldn't you? Pound for two. Three pound for two on these. And these are vintage Kenwood parts and vintage Kenwood parts have a good resale so I was pleased to get those. The only thing that's missing is a dough hook. There would have been three of these originally. The third one would have been the dough hook and I don't have the dough hook. One pound, no 20p, why am I saying one pound? 20p for a Slim World Little Book of Soups. Reasonably well selling Slim and World recipe books, but the Little book, book of Soups is always a good seller. That's always a goer, so that was, that was good for 20p. And then from that guy I bought the jacket from, I got these three items for £1.50. This is a yo-yo. There were two knots in the string and I sat here last night because I'm recording this Monday morning. 
and I untangled those two knots in the string and it took me a very, very long time. Some yo-yos, I don't know if you know about yo-yos, no, uh, some yo-yos resell for hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Like some yo-yos, just they're, they're collector's items, they're limited editions. If you find a yo-yo with Coca-Cola labelling on it, you're probably onto a good thing. Anything with soft drinks labelling, you're probably onto a good thing because these are from the 80s and 90s and they're very, very collectible. This one, not so much, obviously, obviously not so much. This one, probably about seven or eight quid, but even so, I paid 50p. And then... Also 50p for six huge curtain rings, which as you know I buy because people use them for crafts and the large ones are always better than small ones. And another one of these round bunch silicon... My brain has gone! Silicon moulds! My brain just literally shut down halfway through that sentence. Nothing new there. Last couple of bits, I've got a new dog lead. Buddy is now at a point where he has to stay on the extendable lead a lot of the time because he is, he's, he's, he's just losing the plot a bit. So if he wanders off and he can't see you, he panics and dashes off in the wrong direction. Um, despite the fact that his mind is going, his legs still work perfectly well so he can get away from you very, very quickly in the wrong direction and he's deaf so he can't hear you calling him. So he panics and races off to where he thinks you might be and you could be stood, you could be stood a foot behind him and he doesn't know you're there and he races off to where he thinks you might be and you're trying to chase after him. So more and more he's having to stay on the extendable lead now depending on what, what kind of point he's at in his mind on that day. This one was a pound which is really good for an extendable lead and it also had the poo bag canister and three rolls of poo bags so three rolls of poo bags alone is a pound in home bargains so that was that was a, a no-brainer. A lady had these egg butts on 50p each and she said I could have six for two pounds basically so I've sold these recently in boxes these 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 don't have their boxes and they don't all have their identifying labels so I'll have to do a bit of research but they're egg butt by Malcolm Bowman Malcolm Bowmer Bowmer sorry not Bowman and it's little chicks that are bursting out of their eggs in various ways so that one was kung fu and then tennis this one's weightlifting this one's boxing and then I've got a snowman and that one's a wrestler so somebody must have collected the sporting ones more than the rest I think so yeah six of those for two pounds they'll probably sell for three quid each or whatever like you know so, so not a huge amount but when if I sell six for three, three quid each and it comes in at £18, that's not a bad return on two. And then the very, very last two things were both from, from one lady. She wanted £5 each, but she said you can have two for eight. And I'm pleased I went with it, even though I nearly didn't. I'm pleased I went with it because I've got a Kath Kidston gift set. This is, uh, what's this one called? Keep Kind. It's Cassis and Rose Pamper Hamper. Inside here you've got body lotion, bath salts, bath salts. 2023 hand cream and body scrub uh that's that's quite a nice set and, and people have sold those for 15 16 pounds and then these are babyliss and these are the platinum diamond 235 straighteners and these resell at 25 to 30 pounds so if you call those two things together 45 quid that's not a bad return on eight is it so i was pleased with that even though it felt like a bit of a stretch at the time and that's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. I did get a, a bag of stuff that Richie left me. Just if you're watching Richie, thank you very much for the bag of stuff you left with Steve. I've got that. Um, but it doesn't count as part of the haul because um, because it's a completely separate deal. And that's it. That's everything I got yesterday. So it was a small haul. Today is Bank Holiday Monday. Sorry, I'm just getting these straighteners out. Have a look at them. Today is Bank Holiday Monday in the UK. The East of Compton car boot is on on bank holiday mondays but i don't usually bother going because it is all exactly the same people who were there yesterday and the reason for that is because they get a discount if they come back the following day well if you've already looked at their stuff on the sunday they haven't got any new stuff by the monday so i don't bother usually bother going to that one but there is one at the other side of town and usually on a bank holiday monday afternoon that starts about half 11 and i was going to go to that today but i woke up somewhere it's belted down with rain so there's a strong chance that will be cancelled or no good so I possibly won't bother going. That was a long way of telling you that I'm not going to do something you didn't know I was going to do anyway. 
<laughs> Thank you for joining me for today's Carve It Sell haul video. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, if you've seen anything that takes your fancy, my email address is in the description box below. Please do drop me an email and, um, and we can sort something out. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now.